like this is our combustion chamber. Here you can see an air line and fuel into the, through here into the combustion chamber. Where I'll just see if you can see inside, which is probably not enough light. It's basically just a plain old copper pipe in there. So the fuel is supposed to get hot in and vaporise. This is just the outer burn area, which we'll put our combustion chamber into. A quick run through of our system. Fuel tank, gravity fed as you can see, down to our injector. We also have over here a air line, which is connected to just a little aquarium pump, just to pump air through the injector and keep it moving down into the combustion chamber. Not much else to see. You can see, just warming up now. Can I bring the hairdryer in there? Yep. Got enough heat in the combustion chamber to sustain combustion now. Just bring the hair dryer in for airflow. Oh no. Yeah, a bit of dripping fuel. Bring it in out. There we go. Lighting up. Got a lot of excess fuel in the chamber, unfortunately, which is why we have fire dripping on the ground. That's a bit unfortunate, but never mind. Bring the hair dryer in a bit closer, right? Now that we're spraying off excess fuel. Just starting to clear all the excess fuel down. Now crack the hairdryer up another one. Up. That's nice. Yeah, got a nice blue flame in the core. All the way. And that's the maximum airflow now from the hairdryer. Still got excess fuel burning off the ground and that's clearing now. A nice blue flame just right down the bottom there. Unfortunately, our fuel But we have got a fairly nice flame mostly due just to fuel evaporating in the copper tube. Oh, I don't know if 